Look at this. You don't see many of these anymore either. This is a Simplex 4002. Now, also, you don't see a mess like this. I know I know we haven't been in here working on this. Some Mickey Mouse fly-by-night company's been fucking around in here, and it looks like shit. But uh, any, anyway, I got, I got a sales guy right here who, who's going to sell my new system, but he, they want to keep it going for another couple weeks until they sign a contract. And he, uh, he's, he's on me to try to, to get this thing programmed and everything because they, it's lost its program. So I just want to run through the, 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 uh, the cruelty of program, programming an old 4002. Um, one of the first things we did with the 4002, I hope I got this thing, it's, it's hard to get this camera in the right angle, but we got a couple dip switches here, a couple dip switch packages, dip switch number one and dip switch number two. And this whole thing was programmed with dip switches. Uh, and the way we programmed it was we wrote our zones down. Now this is a, my elevator recall equation. We wrote the zones down that we wanted to activate on until reset, and then we want to do an output of an auxiliary too. That was going to do the primary, and then, of course, our two um, alternate zones were going to on until reset and do output auxiliary one. Okay, and what we had to do is write what we wanted, and then we had to look in this quick pocket reference guide here and it gave me all the ones and zeros for the different zones so I had to write all that out first before I could do any programming after I had all my ones and zeros written out then according to this I was going to use my dip switches and punch each one of these in one at a time let me show you how this is done okay uh, first of all we take this little card back here and we flip it around I hope you can see that so we can get the uh, the different things. This is scroll, this is to enter the dat data, jump to location, and delete data. Okay? Uh, other words, there are reset, silence, and trouble silence, and all that. Okay, so the secret to getting into this here is we take dip switch number eight on switch number two over to the off position, which is really on. Everything's backwards, okay? And then we put number seven over. Okay, and we're going to hit the reset button, which is the scroll button, and hold it until it beeps. Okay, now we're going to want one more beep. Oh, we didn't get it. It didn't go over right for it. Let's try this again. I know what the problem is. Okay, let this reset. Let this go back to where it was. Okay, trouble's going to come in. We're going to look at this trouble later on. Okay, let's try it again. Dip switch number eight. Okay, and then dip switch number seven on number one. Hit reset. Now we might wait for a beep. Beep, there it is. Okay, now put seven over, and now we want to take switch number two on dip switch number one over, and then we want to push it again, and we get double beep. Beep, beep. Okay, now, we're in memory location zero, okay, because no lights are lit, okay? Now, according to that, memory location zero is monitor one, which is all zeros, okay? So we're going to say input monitor one, all zeros. So let's jump to the next location. We'll go forward, okay? And we'll see that we're on location number one, okay? Location number one, we got monitor two which is all zeros and a one. And you can see over here that is entered in, okay? Now what we would have to do here is we would have to take this dip switch number one and put that over to zero, which means number one and keep all the rest off. And then we would enter the data in there and then verify it there. Okay, so now we have one light. So let's jump to the next location, which is binary code two. And as you can see, we want the two on here, very basic, because we are at this location here, okay? Uh, we're going to go to the next one. We'll jump to the next one, which you'll see we added in there. So that's binary three. And we are actually putting in 
uh, what they call zone four because everything's off by one because monitor one was nothing two was there so everything's off by one okay now we're going to jump up here next one's going to be monitor six so that's going to look a little different that'll be a light out and then another light so let's hit that one and see if that matches up okay that matches up to that okay and we can keep on going through these uh, and I've actually entered all this in by just switching the dip switches around enter looking at that switching the switches around looking at that and going through the whole thing okay when we get to the very end of the program okay let's keep on going We'll know what the, we're at the end. When all the lights are lit up. Because at the end of my program, N is all on. Just like it says here. End of program. All of them are on. I hope, hope you can see into that. Okay, everything's on for end of program. Okay, now that's the programming. That's the custom control programming part of our episode here now we also have this other thing called database okay now this is where we make our zones a general alarm or a non-general alarm or just a uh, it won't activate the bells okay we can also make it latching and not latching we can do some other fancy things i'm not going to get into it you know point sensing and stuff like that but to get into the database mode we hit jump to location until we hear three beeps. Or it might be four beeps. Okay, that puts me into that location. Okay, now I've written this out on this piece of paper here. Okay, the first two memory locations are all zeros. We aren't doing anything. But once we get into these higher zones, like zones 21, they're, they're uh, all tamper switches. Okay, we don't want them to uh, create an alarm. So we put ones in front of those, okay? So as soon as we get to memory location, we're at zero, we're at one, two, and once we get to memory location two, where I got four ones and zeros, as you can see, four lights are lit and they're not lit. Okay, that's signifying the zones, uh, what is it, 21, 22, 23, 24, okay? They are all tamper switches, so they're going to be non-alarm zones. Okay, uh, let's keep on going. Uh, a couple more non-alarm zones. And then we go into the next category, which is latching and non-latching. Okay, so I don't want them to latch either. So when the tamper switch gets back to normal, uh, the light goes out. We don't have to reset uh, a tamper switch every time. So, of course, I'm going to scroll to memory location 4, which there's nothing. 5 is nothing, but when we get to 6, we have the same scenario, basically. Okay. Once we're finished with all the programming, we want to make sure all of our switches are over to the on position and flip switch 8 over, which is going to perform a reset and get us out of the programming mode. Okay, and of course our trouble is going to come back and they want me to look at that too. So we're going to take a look at that in a few minutes and um, boy, this thing is a mess. but. Anyway, this is, I don't get to see many of these, so when I see one, I want to go ahead and do a little video and put it up just so you can see what we used to work on back in the day. Take it easy.